Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more GM mode. Today, we are one show away from Extreme Rules. You can see my balance has gone a little bit down since the last episode. I've signed a couple of guys that might help us out here uh, with creating some better matches, especially for Extreme Rules. Nonetheless, let's get into booking our show. The first thing we need to do is have Lesnar in the main event. There he is, Lesnar. And obviously, they have a, a big rivalry going on. So, Lesnar one-on-one -on -one with Dexter Loomis. Now, how does that fail my commissioner goal? Our commissioner goal. One hell in a cell match this week. Uh, uh, I mean... We could. We've got... Yeah, we've got, we've got a bit of money. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's just chuck a hell in a cell match. Loomis and Lesnar for the pay-per-view. Uh, no, not for the pay-per-view. That means Lesnar might be off the pay-per-view, but that's fine. That is fine. Let's just book that match one-on-one -on -one straight away. Our opener. Ripley's doing well. Mysterio's doing well. You can see we signed Becky Lynch full-time. Carmelo Hayes full-time. And we got Kevin Nash for 10 weeks. Now that, I think, would be a great thing to have on the pay-per-view. Kevin Nash and Hayes. Uh, just because there's some fresh faces. Or should we do Kevin Nash and Mysterio on the pay-per-view? Lots of choices here. I think we'll open the show with Kevin Nash one-on-one -on -one with Southern Mysterio. Could be Guerrero. Let's just do Hayes just to, just to get an idea of it. And we'll go from there. And okay, now we'll have Becky Lynch do a call-out to Rhea Ripley. That can set them up for a little show, little match at the pay-per-view. We can have uh, Stratus and Lita. I mean, they've been having some some stuff going on, but they don't really go well together, do they? Uh, what about Breaker? Breaker's been wanting a match. We don't really have anyone to fight, to have him fight against. Um, oh, man. That's our problem. We lost Cody. We did get a huge payout, though, for losing Cody, so I'm happy with that. We got $1.3 million to let Cody go for a few weeks. He's going to come back strong, and we got a lot of money now. So, I mean, look, I'll take it. Uh, who else can we have? We can have someone come out and do some charity work. That can be Cena. Why not? Cena loves a bit of charity, and crowd loves Cena. Should we book Ripley in a match before the pay-per-view? Why not? Ripley can go one-on-one -on -one with Trish Stratus. People will love that one. No title match. Interference, we will have Becky Lynch. Oh, we can't because she called someone out. That's fine then. We'll leave the stipulations off the card for now. Oh, we didn't say that. Ripley, Stratus, one-on-one. -on -one. Another promo that we can do. Some advertising. Can we get Guerrero to come out and do some advertising? That's okay. And the last match. Man, this might be tricky. Uh, Jimmy Uso versus... Nah. Yeah, Jimmy Uso versus Rey Mysterio. It might not be the thing we need right now, but that's okay. Let's uh, add in all the bits and bobs here. All the good things. Okay, we've got all that. Now, any power cards that we can use here? Next week's show, that'll be good. We'll use that on... WCW, because they're on a roll, so we won't let them use their most popular star at the pay-per-view. That'll be good. We'll use that as well. Save us a bit of money. Not that we need it right now. Add four weeks to a free agent's contract. That would be nice. And one really book last man standing match will receive a higher than normal rating. We'll use that uh, next week, maybe, at Extreme Rules. Okay, cool. We've got everything sorted. Let's confirm the booking. 73000 this show is going to cost us, which I think will be okay. Anyway, let's simulate. Kevin Nash, Carmella Hayes, will it do well? I know it's a random-ass match, but... Oh, damn it. Okay. Maybe because neither of those guys are popular. We literally just signed them, but the crowd love Becky and Ripley. And we'll simulate Bruiser, fi Bruiser and Fighter. Trish Stratus wins because Becky Lynch... No, no one interfered. Trish Stratus just won. Okay, that's fine. Cena... Of course, everyone loves Cena coming out to do some charity work. This one might not do too well. And Uso. Okay, that's that's good. I'm, I'm happy with that. Happy with that. Guerrero. Yes. Lost a bit of popularity, but the 
but the uh, promo rating was excellent, so a bit strange there. Anyway, Lesnar and Loomis in the main event in a Hell in a Cell match. And Loomis with a big win, and the crowd loves it. Sweet. We'll simulate these matches now. Alrighty, let's keep simulating on here. So, we didn't do too bad. I think we've had worse weeks. I'd say we beat Raw, so that's good. Oh, uh, no, nah, maybe we're on level with Raw, really. Let's just see what the ratings say. So, a D quality show, but uh, we got another 40,000 fans that show. We profited a fair bit, so that's all good stuff. So we now have that total there. What have we all done? They got 50,000. 40,000 for SmackDown. So we've just beaten SmackDown's uh, gap. Not gap, but uh, we got more fans than them. And WCW still on a tear. We have a lot of money, though. Pretty much Physio reduces the probability that match uh, superstars will become injured. That is great. So now we're only... We're still a, we're 150,000 away from WCW. That's crazy. Alrighty, it's week 10. It's extreme rules. I'm not concerned you're falling off the pace compared to Raw. You need to do better. Okay, Trips, I'm sorry. Maybe a little injection of class will help turn things around. I'm giving you a legend whisper of power cut at later height. Any available legend on a short-term contract free of charge, don't waste it. Ooh, okay. Okay, Breaker. Sorry, Breaker. You can give me that tag match with Theory. 100k. Sorry, Bron. We don't need more heels right now, and you are a heel. And Lesnar. I don't mind pain, but I don't want a serious injury. Okay. Is it okay if I take two weeks off? Lesnar, you're on a short-term contract. I'm okay if you get injured, as sad as it is to say. Uh, okay. Contract expires soon for Mysterio. That's not good. So we need to... Well, it's extreme rules. We can book... A big show. We can book a huge, like, stipulation show. Um, I think the main event has to be Ripley and Becky Lynch. Ooh, new special effects. But let's do the first thing here. Let's add Extreme Rules. Let's add that. Let's add... Yep, yeah, we'll buy that. And we'll use those special effects. And we still don't have the big advertisement. That is fine. So, Legends. Power Cards. Okay, so the first legend you sign this week will be free. So let's take advantage here. Who is popular? The ultimate warrior. I mean, we could. We could get Bret the Hitman Hart. He's a specialist, so that could help with anything. I think we'll take Bret Hart. You never know what we could do with a Bret Hart. Okay, sweet. So, let's look here. What is our main event going to be? I think... It's either going to be, uh, where's Ultimate, where's, oh, there's Bret Hart, cool. Ripley is just way more popular. I think it's going to be Ripley and Becky Lynch. It's got to be something big, though. So what could it be? Does it, I mean, I suppose the main event of Extreme Rules has to be a Extreme Rules match, right? We could do Last Man Standing, Falls Count Anywhere, Backstage Brawl, I think we have to do. Because that gives us a bump in 10,000 fans. We can afford the 90 grand out of nowhere now. Uh, Steel Cage, we definitely want to do as well at some point. I don't know, Last Man Standing. Out of curiosity, if we made this a triple threat, and we added Stratus to the mix. Oh, yeah, I think that would pop off, because we did Stratus did just get a win over Ripley. I think that's what we have to do. And then we have to make it no extreme rules, possibility, steel cage, possibility. Uh, we'll use the extreme rules because it is the extreme rules. Pay per view. We can't do a triple threat title match? Really? What's the steel cage? No, we, we can't do a triple threat title match. Wow, okay. But if it's a one on one, for example, we can. I think we need to do that, though. Who cares if it's non-title? It should be fine. So we'll put Stratus in the mix there. 
she is definitely losing her stamina. She's, you know, been going through the wars. We can add in interference as well. Could we have Lita assist Ripley? Would that be something we should think about or no? Um, hmm. Lita assists Ripley. I don't know. I think we can just have Lita run in on Becky Lynch. Why not? That's the main event. I'm happy with that. I'm really happy with that. Okay, now. One-on-one. -on -one. The first thing we need to do is go back to these cards. Pretty much physio. I think we need to add that on to... Who, who are we going to use this week? Mysterio was looking a bit weak, wasn't he? Where is Mysterio? Oh, there. Hmm... Breaker's going to be gone. That's fine. Uh, Ziggler's back, finally. That's good. His popularity has gone right down, though. Uh, I think let's use it on Mysterio, just because he's been going through a couple of wars lately. And, you know, we may or may not be planning him to go one-on-one -on -one with Kevin Nash. I don't know. <laughs> Can't use power card, you can have no oh wait, no, that's not what I was trying to do. Coast to coast, the GM interference book will provide an additional two show bonus and be free to book this week. All right, let's do that. Why not? Let's just go all out. We've got the money. Super raises the selected superstars morale. No. Bigger they are. One randomly falls cut anywhere in match on your show super higher than normal rating. Let's go all out, guys. <laughs> okay. We might be blowing a whole bunch of money in one uh, episode, but hey. Uh, that could be handy. After the next match, who do we want to bump up? Camilo Hayes could be good. Let's, use, let's, just, let's just bump everything up. Like, we have the money, as I said, so anyway. We've done all that stuff. We now need to figure out what we're doing here. So, Mysterio can go one-on-one -on -one with Kevin Nash. Make that a... Should we make this one a false count anywhere with that? Yeah, it's, it's a minor match, so let's do that. False count anywhere match. Interference, and you can have Eddie Guerrero help him get the win. Go back. At least one steel cage match. I got that easy. That's easily fine. Promo. Do we have... Th oh, we need We need another face. We need more faces. I don't know. Lacey Evans could have come out. But she's having a rivalry with Roxanne Perez. That seems like that could be some sort of blow or feud. However, Fighter and Cruiser don't mix. Orton's nearly back. Loomis is gone. That's fine. Uh, we need to book Bret Hart as well. Oh my god, we've got it all on. Um, I don't know, we'll worry about the primers at the end, because the matches are where we need to thrive here tonight. Cena one-on-one -on -one can go up against... Ziggler? A returning Ziggler, maybe? We've got no other... We've got Bret Hart, but that ain't gonna work. I think we should just hit Ziggler in there. Why not? Book it uh, in a... That can be the steel cage match. Why not? Let's do it. And we'll worry about the promos later. We want to book a big-ass backstage brawl. Hayes. We don't have anyone for him to go up against. I mean, could we buy someone? Sign free agents. Let's do... Sort by class. We've got T-Bar. We've got Veer Mahan. They're all giants. No one popular though. What about... Oh, yes. I think we've just found what we're going to spend our money on. Yes. <laughs> Alrighty. Andre the Giant. <laughs> Andre the Giant against Carmelo Hayes. Backstage brawl. I don't know why. I don't really understand why but it's okay <laughs> okay and the last thing we're gonna do is Brett the Hitman Hart 
one-on-one -on -one with Lesnar. I mean, specialist bruiser could slap, right? I mean, he's our most popular guy. He's going to be gone soon. Let's just do it. And then one-on-one -on -one in a... Last man standing. Do we book the Falls Cat anywhere? I think we did already, right? Let's just do last man standing. This is one of the most random shows ever, but I think... I think we're going to do some damage here. Yeah, we got the Falls Steel Cage, Backstage Brawl, Extreme Rules. Bro, we've got it all on lock here. Theory. Come out and do a self-promo. That's fine. Uh, uh, Loomis, you can't. I wish you could pick guys that were injured to come out. That's fine. Jimmy Uso can do a self promo. Also, Breaker self promo, even though he's uh, not happy and he's leaving NXT after this show. Maybe he can call someone out. Who would he call out though? Mysterio. That's what we should be doing with Mysterio. I don't know why. Oh, we're already booking Mysterio in a match, but that's fine. That ain't going to be a rivalry. So if we have self promo there, and then, yeah, the last thing, if we whack Jey Uso in there to call out Rey Mysterio, because they're definitely having a rivalry, that is going to be our card. I think this has a great chance of absolutely popping off. I could be wrong, but hey, we'll find out. This is a $250,000 show. But you got to do what you got to do. We're going to simulate each match uh, until the... We've got no title matches either, which is probably a bad thing, but that's fine. It's all good. We'll simulate Mysterio and Nash. Mysterio with the win. And the crowd... Oh, yes! <laughs> Great start. Okay, the crowd say. Okay. Let's simulate Cena and Ziggler. Run it back a little bit. Cena with the win. Steel cage. Two and a half. I'll take it. I'll take it. It's fine. It's all good. Crowd. Okay. Backstage brawl. Hayes and Andre the Giant. And Andre the Giant with a win. And yes, I'm happy with that. It's not as good as I wanted it, but that's okay. That's a big investment, but it should get us a lot of fans. Breaker. Crowd happy with that. Lesnar and Bret Hart. Should we should we spectate this one? Last man that might take a while. Yeah, we won't, we won't spectate it. We'll simulate it. We will spectate the main event. Bret Hart. And okay. That's alright. It's fine. Jey Uso calls out. Rey Mysterio. Crowd happy. Let's... Oh, we can't even spec... Wow. Oh, well. We'll simulate the show. And Trish Stratus. Now, if only that was for the title. Four stars. I'm happy with that. Overall, I'm happy with that. They've un they haven't booked any of their promos. That's a bit dicey, guys. It's a bit dicey. No one's booked any promos. Oh, no. WC. Is this WCW? I think it's WCW. Yeah. Cool. So, we smashed the opener. We did okay in the middle. And we did okay at the end. But we smashed the opener, which I... I'm kind of annoyed that the backstage ball, but hey, star ratings is one thing, but fans, 150,000. That is exactly what I wanted. We lost 100 grand on the show, but overall, Raw took 100,000. That's okay. 130,000 for SmackDown. What did WCW do? 188. How do they do it? How do they do it? I don't understand. Damn it. Well, we've made some inroads on complete five challenges this season. No worries. And we got the power card. We got another power card. We've made some big inroads on SmackDown and Raw. So that's good. We're still almost 200,000 off WCW, which is not great. We got a Hall of Fame trophy. Do we just four weeks till SummerSlam? Nice. And good talent applied. Select an opposing brand increase price of all legends and free agents next week by 20k well ain't you lucky i'm not signing shit Rey mysterio nxt is up at the end of the week 90 139k how long do i get you for for that money uh thanks for your work ray sure thing ray let's just try this i already had the authorization to extend your contract 
First I've heard of it, guess we're we talking again soon. We got out of that for now. This one of my agent talents get hiring new talents gonna cost more until we can replace her. That's fine. I'm not hiring any new talent. But won't get until next week, that's fine. You haven't scheduled any championship fights in a while. That's probably where we could have done more. They're a useful way to get the audience cheering opener and main event matches are particularly good candidates to receive ratings boost from having a belt on the line. No worries, trips. I'll try my best in the next one. I have to say you really crushed it with the last show. Game recognized game. Thanks, Kurt. Didn't need you to say anything. I was barely trying. Good luck with keeping up though. It was one show, you can't be lucky for that long. Your show really topped the charts. How'd you manage to pull that off? Spending a shit ton of money. <laughs> that was a crap ton of money, but that's okay. I'm okay with it, Mick. Uh I'll listen to my stars and spend my cash wisely. <laughs> Words live by a nice job, but I'll get you next time. Something I've been wanting to say for quite a while, boss. I don't know. I'm getting a little tired of being the bad girl all the time. I want the crowd cheering me. Alright, I'll get you set up to make the switch. Whatever. Have what you want. That loser leader attacked me during that last fight. I'm not going to stand for the garbage like that. I want to settle things in the ring with her in the next three weeks. Okay. Well, I'm happy with that. That's fine. Alrighty. Select a shake-up. Riding the cocktails. If the legend wins a fatal four match, the loser of the match. Nope. Select a giant superstar. They sit out next to her X while your fighters and bruises increase a match card quality. Mm. Surprise interference. Superstars with less than 60 profit. I can do a run-ins for free and gain five profit. There's nothing great here. Let's just do that. Why not? Okay, don't put Cody Rhodes in a match this week. So Cody's back. Excellent. What's his, uh... I don't know, I can't. <laughs> That's fine then. No worries. I'm all good with that. Cody, very popular. What's new? We need to give Ripley a week off. She's been killing it, but we, we can't lose her. Mysterio needs some time off too. Oh, man. Cena. Lesnar. I'm not worried about Lesnar. So we need to start booking... Oh my god, it's so tricky when you're always having to worry about your, your roster. Anyway, get the tables. One randomly booked match on your card will be rated higher than normal. Sure, we need to take advantage of those. So we will use, we'll have the tables match this week. Beginner's luck, raise the popularity of Superstar with the lowest popularity by 10. I mean, who's our lowest popular Superstar? Roxanne Perez, nah, I'm not interested in that whatsoever. Uh, sold out. Select an opposing brand, double the price of their power cards in the shop next week. Uh, not interested, really. Injury rehab. So, Le oh, Ziggler's injured again. Loomis injured again. And uh, I don't really need that yet. I think I'll save that for when, you know, potentially one of our guys get really done up. Uh, cool. So, check out that Hall of Fame trophy. So, we, we've got one Hall of Fame trophy. Cool. Look at WCW on that last week, man. That was crazy. It was crazy for us too, but it was more crazier for them. They, they, they still pulled out 30,000 fans on us, which is nuts, to say the least. Anyway, we've chewed through a fair bit of our money. That's all right. Oh, here we go. That's what we want. And 1.5 million in lifetime revenue. So I don't know what these actually do. I don't think we've heard anything really. So I'll find out as soon as I go. Becky Lynch can definitely go one-on-one -on -one with Lita. Absolutely no worries there. I think that is the match to do. Uh, interference. We'll leave it as it is for the moment. Or should that be the tables match? Until further notice, that will be the tables match. Maybe we should always be booking these little $5,000 matches. Because that'll help. Uh, next. Rhea Ripley should definitely come out. Self-promo. Can she call anyone out? Becky Lynch? Yeah, I think people want to see that feud. Let's do that. Uh, next. One one. We need to be using our guys that aren't getting going to get injured. Let's... Let's do Andre and, and Carmelo Hayes again. Let's chuck him in a... 
Tables are the cheapest ones to book. Let's just throw a few tables matches on this card. Spice it up a little bit. Mm, Ray Mysterio can come out and do self promo. Because he can't have the week on. Bret Hart could come out and fight. We could do Kevin Nash versus um, Guerrero. Kevin Nash is kind of busted up though. But we could do that. Or we could do Bret Hart. I think that could be a main event match. Bret Hart. Let's do, I mean, look, again, guys getting injured, it's okay. It's a waste of money, I know, but I'm okay with it. Let's just book it. I want to do a little experiment. Let's book a tables match on every goddamn thing this week. And we can have Jimmy Uso, self-promo. Just a few self-promos to get the guys hyped up. We can't book a tag team title match because I'm not booking Ray. He's going to get injured if we're not careful. So that's fine. The main event then is going to have to be Bret Hart one-on-one -on -one with one-on-one -on -one with Orton's back. I didn't realize Orton was back. Should we should we pull the trigger on that match right away for the title? Yes, yeah, do it. Orton isn't very popular, but this could this could do some stuff. One-on-one -on -one tables match. I think that is what we want. I think that'll do it. Let's make it for the title. Stuff it. NXT North American Championship. Randy Orton versus Bret Hart. <laughs> Let's confirm the booking. Here we go. Alrighty. So I think we will watch the main event this time. So we'll simulate Lynch and Leader. Hope for something special here. That's bloody excellent. Okay. Rhea Ripley calls out Becky Lynch. People loving that. Let's simulate this tables match. We've spent a bit of money booking these tables matches, but again, that is great. This is good. We're doing well now. Again, another tables match. This could be a good investment, and we're starting to book people against each other correctly, bro. Holy crap, this is excellent. Crowd happy with Jimmy. This is a banger show. Let's simulate the match. Spectate. Should we spectate it? Yeah, let's spectate the match. Let's go. Here comes Bret Hart. He's ready for his NXT North American title match one-on-one -on -one with Randy Orton. Randy Orton is back. He's the NXT North American champion still. He's coming in for a ladder. Ah, fuck. Randy Orton is back. He's coming in for a tables match. He's still the NXT North American champion. See the side plates? The one on the bottom there doesn't look quite right. <laughs> but here we go. One-on-one, -on -one, Randy Orton, Bret Hart. Tables match. Here we go. The last ep the last match of the video. This might have been a bit of a longer one, but I felt bad not showing any gameplay in the last uh, match. And the last couple of shows, so we decided to run some gameplay here just for you guys. And let's do this. This has been a solid show so far. So I'm hoping... Um, maybe when you use those cards, it says one randomly booked match, but maybe it's because I booked all tables matches. I don't know. But this will definitely bump us up in the ratings. I hope. And back breaker from Orton. Orton looks great, man. Definitely, uh, his tattoos aren't quite right, but that's okay. It's the first time I think I've seen current model Orton in the game. And power slam to Orton. Actually, no, I think we did simulate him in one of the last episodes. Anyway, Bret Hart with a neck breaker. These guys are going to be going battle for battle. I'm kind of hoping Bret Hart wins. Just because Orton's come back from injury. He's not uh, pop as popular now. And, you know, his stamina's down, obviously, because he's just come back from injury. Bret Hart's popular. He, uh, obviously, is in real good condition. Now, you got to remember, booking these extreme matches gets you ratings, but then you lose your guys. So, I've just got to be careful with that. But maybe it's going to be high risk, high reward for a few weeks. Booking these huge matches, because the crowd will love it. So, anyway, Orton taking things to the outside now. Bret Hart countering. And bang again. I love the LED boards in the game, man. It's fresh. It feels fresh. And now, Bret Hart. Going around, grabbing that table. 
Imagine in a world NXT against SmackDown, Raw, and WCW. Down goes Orton. And now Randy Orton into the ring goes Bret Hart. These guys know the objective of the match. They know what to do, Bret Hart, to a second rope. Oh, down goes Orton, who I might be seeing at WrestleCon. I'm going to WrestleCon, baby. Let's go. I'm going to WrestleMania this year. <laughs> I say this every video. I'm so excited, bro. It's awesome. Anyway, Orton picking up the table. Now, Bret Hart coming in with a table of his own. And now, oh, Bret Hart with a counter. And Orton throwing Bret Hart off the ropes. Luthor's press time. That table is suspiciously chilling out in the corner. We cannot have... We can't... Uh, they can't end the match too soon. Because, I mean, I know the actual match gameplay doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how good the match is. You know, uh, it's just dependent on what the computer determines your match to be. Which is based on how good your uh, rivalries are and how good your combinations are. All that thing. There's now three tables in the ring. These guys aren't messing around when we said, God damn, tables match. Anyway, counter from Orton. Now, Orton. Don Bret Hart into the corner. Chop. And not quite ready to put him through a table yet. Look at all these goddamn tables, man. What the hell? And, oh, what's Orton looking to do? I don't think he's sure what he's trying to do. He might be trying to set up that table right there, but Bret Hart in the way. Here we go. He set it up. There is so many. Is he going for another table? He's not, is he? No, he's chasing Bret. And, oh, big knee. Over goes Orton. Bret Hart now unloading. On the Apex Predator, and down he goes. Atomic drop. And Brett up, up again and slamming him down. And now, trying to rip that arm off. Orton nearly stunned. If he has Orton nearly stunned, that could be it. And Bret Hart taking Orton down. What next? And another atomic drop. And throwing Orton to the apron, not the apron, the barricade, and taking him down. These two legends in their own right. Orton throwing Bret Hart back into the ring. What are we going to do next? And locking up, Orton throwing Bret Hart into the table. Throwing him, bouncing his head off the table. And belly to belly. That could have went through a table if Bret Hart wasn't careful. And now... Working on that arm. And another stomp. And now unloading to the skull of Bret Hart Orton, the legend killer as he once was. Coming back into full effect tonight. And now Hart's done. He throws him into the corner. Or picks him up. What's he going to do? Never mind. Bit of a wasted opportunity there from Orton, you must think. And Bret Hart now getting up to his feet. And now... Taking down Randy Orton with a pile driver. Bret Hart. Now setting up that table. What is Bret Hart looking to do? Throwing Orton over to the table. That's it, I think. It is Bret Hart! Puts Orton through a table and is the new NXT North American champion. Crowd chanting, this is awesome. That's good. He's done it. And then you can see the broken table, the chairs having a spaz in the background. But Bret Hart is now NXT North American champion and four and a half stars. We've got a new champ. That was a solid show. Holy crap. <laughs> I hope that um, the rest of the brands are on notice. I really do. Because I think we might have just booked the best show anyone booked all week. I could be wrong. We're about to find out. Dominated, dominated, dominated. Hell yeah, we did it. 
Now, the only thing we might have to consider is these guys that we just booked could be heavily injured. Anyway, show quality D, but match quality B, 65,000 fans up. Not as many as I thought, but we did profit this time around. So that's okay. Alrighty. And we got more fans than Raw. That's good. More fans than SmackDown. That's good. More fans than WCW. That is a huge win in our books. Okay, you've successfully accomplished the commission's goal this week. They've rewarded you with this power card for your efforts. Ensures that you'll retain most of your fans this week. Sweet. As And we are now... What? Why are we at the top? Is it because we have the most money? No. It's because we have a Hall of Fame trophy? I don't know. We don't have the most fans. We have more than SmackDown now, so that's good. I don't... We're winning. <laughs> Somehow. Trish's contract's up. I think we're not going to renew it. I'm not going to renew any of the contracts. Sorry, Trish. Lita. Oh, tempting. I'll give you 51k if you stay. Uh, we can just book someone else. Uh, nah. Look, she's a cruiser. We don't have any giant women. So... We'll keep it there. Lesnar, I'm sorry. And Cody's back as well, bro. We're off. We are going off. Uh, nah, sorry, Brock. You are injured. You haven't been doing too much well for us, so I'm fine. Eddie Guerrero, we have to renew that one. He does have low stamina, but we, we do have to renew it. 158k, really? Hmm... Um, I think I, I think we need to take a new approach. We're not going to renew the contract. That's a big decision, but that's okay. Uh, Cody's back. Thanks for your opportunity to move. It was some serious buzz during test screenings. This is great for my career. Uh, great to have you back. We need you here. Let's get back to work. Popularity ninety four for Cody. He has been. Boosted to the max coming back. Uh, Roxanne Perez. Again, we don't have any giant women. So. Alright, that's fine. You can go. Thanks for my rematch against Lita. No problemo. Told you I'd get the win this time. That's great. Glad you're on XT. It's going well at the moment. No one can touch me. We have some very happy talent at the moment. I still don't see exactly how we're ranked number one. Maybe someone can explain that in the comments below. But, obviously the ratings, we aren't winning. But, we are somehow ranked number one. I don't know if it's because we've got a trophy. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to end off the video there. Thank you guys very, very much for watching. If you enjoy, smash the like button. Hit the bell. Do all those things. I love you all. I'll see you later.